My work mainly focuses on my identity as a Venezuelan immigrant. I found that art was a really productive tool for me to explore what that means, just because of how the dictatorship has influenced a lot of people's lives, including my own. So whenever I'd start a project, it would be based on a lot of research, whether it's what I see in the news, what I hear from my family members, or what I hear from people here in the US. It's usually informed by what's going on over there, but also how it's perceived here. One of my recent works is a eight foot by six foot painting. Once you're working that large, you're not commanding the painting, but it's commanding you. And I feel like working at that size is as physically immersive as the psychological process for me. Art is so productive in a social sense. You don't need to know a certain language to be able to get a message from a visual. And I feel like that just expands so much more of like who you could reach like it expands your audience so much one of my biggest focuses and what i incorporate in my art is expression and i feel like that connects with people even if you're not involved in this in university people have come up to me and asked me like oh what is this about like what are you working on and the fact that my work makes people ask questions is all i need to know and it makes me super happy my pieces are just to spark curiosity and kind of face you with like a flash of this reality. So then you sit back and you think about it and you get curious and maybe you'll go and read more. In the moment, creating is a very emotional process. It's me sitting with myself and as I'm painting things, I remember parts of my childhood or I remember things that I've like had people say to me, whether it's family, friends, strangers, to me, the fine arts are a calling for me to stay connected with Venezuela and to just maintain that relationship with my background.